Finally, the last error that people make that causes their lead arm to bend is not rotating the lead arm in the backswing. Now, the lead arm should rotate in the backswing. Notice that lead elbow, it starts pointing toward me or toward my belly, toward the ground. When it gets up at the top, it is rotated about 90 degrees and it's pointed uh, parallel to the ground. That's the way it should work. But when you don't rotate that lead elbow, what happens when you get about here is you can't hinge this lead wrist from this position. So when you do hinge it, it causes a big flex in your uh, lead wrist, but it also causes that arm to bend. There's really nothing you can do about it. If you don't rotate that lead arm as you come up, it's going to bend. I mean, you can't get your wrist back into position. You can't hinge this trail wrist fully without bending that lead elbow. So the way to prevent that, it's really simple. You just rotate your lead elbow. Your lead arm rotates. That's the way it's designed to move. That's the way it should move in the golf swing. Now, I know a lot of people try to do the square to square stuff where they don't rotate their lead arm. You need to rotate your lead arm. I'm just telling you, you need to rotate it. Not rotating it is one of the causes of you bending that lead arm.